Dynamite, let's go down to the ring and the great Tony Schiavone. All right, guys, and what a way to celebrate the fourth anniversary of AEW Dynamite tonight here in Stockton, California. And now, please welcome officially with me to All Elite Wrestling, the Rated R Superstar, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Copeland. Yeah. This past Sunday at WrestleDream, I thought the roof was gonna come off the Climate Pledge Arena. There is no doubt about it, it was amazing in Seattle at WrestleDream when Adam Copeland, the rated R superstar, appeared and shocked everybody, especially shocking our TNT champion Christian Cage and looked like he saw a ghost. I know Cope a long time. I know Adam Cope in a very long time. I consider him a close friend. Shared a ring with this man, traveled with him, a lot of laughs with him. It's great that he's here in AEW. Yeah, I mean, a, tr a true legend in our sport, a tremendous addition to the roster here in AEW. And I mean, what a moment, just, just days ahead of our fourth anniversary at Dynamite. All right, it is great to be standing beside a true legend. What, it was the biggest news in pro wrestling last week. The fans are still rabid for the rated R superstar. And welcome to All Elite Wrestling, my friend. Tony Schiavone, I grew up, and your voice was the soundtrack to my childhood. So to stand in a ring with you, pretty big deal for me. And I love you, Tony, but this is my ring now, so hit the bricks. Perfectly said. <laughs> I love you. Seriously, though, I came out here to talk to y'all. Man, 
I've never heard that one chanted before. That's fun. I like that. But seriously, okay. Let's rewind back, okay? 2011, I'm told that I can never do this again. But guys, we're in 2023 and I am standing in an AEW ring. And now there, there's quite a few reasons why I came here. There's one major one, but I'll get to that last, okay? Because I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure the AEW Heavyweight Championship would look good around my waist. There's a whole roster of first time matches for Adam Copeland. And yeah, I just talked about myself in the third person. Never done that before, kind of weird. I don't think I'll do that again. But come on, check it out, check it out, check it out. We're talking first ever matches, right? Adam Copeland versus John Moxley. Adam Copeland versus Kenny Omega. Versus Miro. Versus Powerhouse Hobbs. Versus Jay White. Versus the stray bullet Juice Robinson. So those are all amazing reasons to be here. To challenge myself 31 years into my career with something that's brand new. And all of you are helping make that happen. And I've already said this before, I'm gonna say it again, this will be the last time I say it. The main reason that I decided to come here to AEW is because I sat down, I sat down with my family and I said to my girls who are seven and nine years old, I said to Lyric and Ruby, I was like, Lyric, Ruby, what's dad do? Should I retire? That choice was up there. But then Lyric, nine years old and far wiser than I will ever be, she said, you should go and have fun with Uncle Jay. So speaking of Uncle Jay, I'll, tell, I'll call him what, what y'all call him, Christian Cage. I know. So right now, I would like to call out Christian Cage so I can tell him the real reason I'm here. Come on. Jake, come on. Well, this past Sunday at Wrestle Dream, Christian Cage successfully defended his TNT Championship in a brutal, a brutal, brutal doesn't even describe this match, Taz. It, it was a, uh, I mean, unlike anything I'd ever seen, his defense against Darby Allen. Well, absolutely insanity. But talk about history. The TNT champion coming out here, Christian Cage, and the man in the ring, Adam Copeland, the rated all superstar. And for our younger fans that don't know, Adam Copeland and Christian Cage are two men. They began their careers together. Oh, yeah. From day one, uh, one of the greatest tag teams of all time, these two men, ever. Some would say that. I mean, it's hard to say they were the best ever. I mean, it's hard to argue not. But Christian Cage, I mean, since he's been here in AEW, I mean, he's completely redefined himself. And now, as TNT champion, I mean, maybe the best moments of Christian Cage's career. Tough to argue that also. He's very proud, Christian is, of that TNT title. I think he's risen that title up to, to new heights. I truly do. No matter if you like the man or not, he has done that. Christian Cage has done that. 
Never thought I'd see these two men in an AEW ring on the fourth anniversary of Dynamite in my life. At the same time. For 40 years, you and I have been best friends. Before we were in this industry, but it was this industry that made us realize we were gonna be best friends for life. And I, I know what you're thinking, why did I do what I did at WrestleDream? Why did I smash Nick Wayne? Why did I throw a chair in Luchasaurus's face and spear him? Why did I do those things? And it, it's quite simple, because I see you standing out here just like this. I see your face all pursed up, looking more like a dick than usual. Swear jar. And even though I know that about you, I still love you. That's never gonna go away, okay? But I saw you standing over Sting. Sting. Sting! A guy whose poster you took to the barber and put it on the mirror so that she would cut your hair the same way as his. You had the box top of the lousy rat tail. I was Lex Luger. That was us. And I see you standing over Sting, a man who has entertained people for over four decades. A man who has caused people to feel for four decades. A man, my wife's grandparents couldn't speak English, they're Polish, but guess what? They loved Sting. So I can't stand here and watch you smash him with a concerto. So that's why I did what I did Sunday. But I also did it because I know, and I'm speaking from experience here, that Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne are gonna drop you like a bad habit as soon as they've sucked all the information out of your brain. and you're so egotistical, you won't see it. I know you won't see it. But Jay, man, I am here. I am here because it's time. It's time. For the first time since 2011, for the first time properly in over 20 years, it's time for you and I to team together again. To face a team like FTR. To face a team like the Young Bucks. To show an entire generation of fans why we are inarguably one of the greatest tag teams of all time. So I am out here hat in hand and I am asking you, let's do it. Let's end our careers together as a team. Let's show them all what we can do. Go fuck yourself.
Before I go, just a quick reminder, Adam, of what you'll be up against this Tuesday live on Dynamite. It will be Adam Copeland making his AEW in-ring debut next week. Dynamite, title Tuesday. Copeland, one-on-one, -on -one, the rated R superstar facing Luchasaurus. How about now? Let's even faster than next. And listen to this ovation. We had breakfast together today, had a great time reminiscing. It's so great to have this man in the company. JR, you said you met this man as a, as a teenager. You signed him to his first professional contract. The spark that you saw then, it's still got to be there now. You see the Upper Deck E-Pack card available until Wednesday at 3 p.m. UpperDeckEPAC.com. Yeah, this kid is, uh, he always had something. He always had the it factor. Certainly did, but we heard this week on Dynamite, he said he felt free being here in AEW. But well, that comes with a price when the, when the man on the brand with the gold is Christian Cage, who said more in three words than Copeland did in five minutes. Clearly, Cage hasn't lost his edge. This man is a credit to the pro wrestling business. Come on! That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Before, before I begin, I'm looking down there and I'm seeing JR. That man first signed me to a contract, I'll never forget it, paid my college debts. I am forever in debt to you, sir. So, if you watch Dynamite on Wednesday, <laughs> well, you kind of know that things didn't go exactly according to my plan. And, <laughs> I don't get it. I'm, I'm really confused because the whole idea with me coming to AEW was, was to team with Christian Cage. I mean, you wanted to see it, right? Like, uh, I gotta rewind a bit, okay? And I know this sounds like a, like a fairy tale, but the thing is with him and I, it's actually true. For nine years, I was told I could never do this again. I was told that if I fell, I could die. But I am standing here in an AEW ring <laughs> through a hell of a lot of hard work and a lot of persistence. But wait, it gets better because for seven years, Christian Cage was told he could never do this again. And through a lot of hard work and a lot of persistence, now he, he, he is here in AEW with me. So I, I just don't understand what happened because when we first started talking about this, when we first started talking about me coming here, that was the idea. And then somewhere along the line, he got a little bit colder. He stopped taking as many of my phone calls and, and I get it, that's just him being him. He ain't the nicest guy in the world. He never has been. As a matter of fact, I've said it before, I'll say it again, he's a dick. But again, I love him, okay? He's my best friend for 40 years. So maybe when he stopped taking the calls, I should have realized, that I should have had some kind of inkling as to what was gonna happen. And yeah, he's in his Bond villain phase, I get it. <laughs> he's got the turtlenecks, he's got the big heavy luchasaurus, which I guess makes Nick Wayne his hairless Persian cat that he pets in his lap, I don't know.
Not going to lie, if every time you guys see Nick Wayne you do that, I would be smiling. So really what I'm out here for is some answers. I, I want to find out what is going on. I, I'm highly confused, so Christian, can, can you get out here and, and, and just tell me what's going on since you won't take my calls? What, what is up? Edge has always been up front. <laughs> Same old Adam, huh? You think you call the shots around here? You've been in AEW less than a week and you've accomplished absolutely nothing. As the TNT champion, I come and go as I please. As for your request for an answer, it won't happen tonight. No. You want an answer? You'll get it this Tuesday live on Dynamite. I'll be there Tuesday. The question is, are you going to make it? This sounds ominous. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. And Adam Copeland, who has been in the daylight, has never traveled in the darkness like Christian Cage has. Well, this doesn't look good for Adam Copeland whatsoever. Copeland's not making quips now, is he? Doesn't look like a Persian cat now, does he? And Copeland trying to trying to size things up, but there's two men circling the ring. All, like, all due respect, you don't want to take your eye off the big one, Luchasaurus. Oh, and Nick Wayne oh. gets sent down by Adam Copeland. And Spear! Oh. One of the greatest fears in all the pro oh. wrestling, Kick Adam Copeland. Oh! Wow! Publication! No question, Christian Cage behind this attack. Oh, wait a minute! Copeland in the corner! Looking for some revenge on Wayne! Oh, goodness! Oh. And jumps! Oh, that's hard! Elevation, power, technique. And that, that thoracic spine that has had three surgeries driven into the center of the ring! And the extinction! Oh. The extinction plants out of Copeland! from a huge human being with unyielding strength who is looking for his time in the sun. Copeland's not moving. Yeah, and Nigel, you've had, you've had neck injuries, neck issues. He's... I haven't had a triple neck fusion, though. This clearly a knock from Christian Cage who knows Adam Copeland like the back of his neck. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he... Kuchasaurus. Oh, this comes straight. He's taken from Concerto. From the Patriarch. There's no... Oh. No. And look who's here. Well, he better get here quickly. And it's Luchasaurus. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. There he is. Downtown with a steel chair goes Darby Allen. And Darby still has that hospital bracelet on from Sunday night. And the decision tree that's going through the mind of Nick Wayne right now. High drama here tonight. Oh, God! Nick Wayne, like a little brother to Darby Allen. Allen thought twice about the chair shot. Nick Wayne did not think twice. And oh, 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 Luchasaurus. Quick lash into the corner. The right arm of Darby Allen was nearly destroyed in the match with Christian Cage at Wrestle Dream. Oh, and it still has that brace. It still has that stabilizing brace on. We saw earlier tonight how Christian Cage horrible. nearly took the arm clean off. This is horrible. That, that hand was purple based on the damage, and we're going to see some unconscionable violence if it's oh. up to Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne. Oh. 
Allen come to the aid of Copeland? Who's going to come to the aid of Allen? No one! Oh, oh my God! No hesitation! No remorse! Nothing but malice, nothing but injury and hurt and pain and suffering on the mind of this young kid who should be taken to the woodshed. AEW Dynamite title Tuesday, 8 p.m. on TBS. Christian Cage asked the question, Nigel. I will see you there. If you make it, will you make it? And now there are question marks swirling around it, not only out of Copeland, but Darby Allen as well. What an ass. Kansas City, keep the noise down while I conduct my business. Kansas City, you should be happy that you have a champion that you can be proud of in your midst. Because unlike your Kansas City Chiefs, I don't need any extra help to get my wins. Now it was apparent last week that I left a lot of people's jaws on the floor with the three words that I said to the Rated R Superstar. I know I left him in shock in the middle of this ring when I left him standing here with his junk in his hands and that stupid look on his face that I've seen a million times before. And I found it interesting that he said that Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne were gonna turn on me when they got all the information that they needed based on his experience in the past. Well, the difference is, Adam, I didn't take some ragtag group, dress them up like it's Halloween, and convince them they're tough guys. <laughs> you tried to be their leader. I am not their leader. I am their father. That's the difference. Oh, God. And it also made me laugh. You actually almost made me crack a smile when you came out and gave the big rah-rah speech of, hey, let's get the team back together. Let's all have, let's have all these dream matches. Let's finish our careers together. And it's funny that that same sentiment wasn't there a few years ago, Adam. It's funny that same sentiment wasn't there when I was deliberately being held back, even though I was clearly the more talented of the two, while you were getting pushed to the moon. Why didn't you get back, want to get back together then, Adam, huh? Where were your tag team aspirations then, I ask? And my, how times have changed because as your career is on a downward slope, my career keeps climbing to new heights because I am without a doubt the hottest star in this industry. I am the most talked about star in this business. And you've came out here under the guise that you want to get the tag team back together when the fact is you need me. I don't need you. But I can't say I blame you for being a fan, Adam. I have a lot of fans around the world. In fact, I know your wife, Beth, is a huge fan. Oh. And you know what, I'm already getting bored of this, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and have my right hand of destruction end you right here once and for all. But take solace in the fact that your little girls, Lyric and Ruby, will be well taken care of. Hey, Beth, I know you're out there listening. Put a clean, keep it down.
Put some clean sheets on the bed, cause your new father is coming home, girls. You think you know that? Oh boy, oh boy! Adam Copeland just charging down. And, oh wait, Nick Wayne! Where did he Grab come the from? the boot and Luchasaurus. Where did he? I guess Nick Wayne was probably trailing behind oh. Copeland. That was smart of him. That was that extinction lariat. It was before the bell. That extinction lariat targeting the back of the the head of Adam Copeland after all the, all those knee injuries, or excuse me, the neck injuries. Copeland to the top rope. Splash across the back of Luchasaurus. Let's see if he can follow up now. Let's see what he's got. And look at the concern on the face of Cage. Well, because Christian Cage knows what Copeland's about, right? He knows that second effort, that, that second gear that Cope has. The rated R superstar being urged on by this fantastic crowd just outside of Kansas City. We thank you for joining us for Dynamite title Tuesday tonight. Wild swing and a miss by Luchasaurus. Cope firing in, connecting with those elbow strikes. It's the rolls over the headbutt. Wow. Damn. Wow, man, that was awesome. Like getting hit by a, by a bus right there. Oof. While well, you were running at full speed at the bus. Right, I'm telling you, but quick change right here. Get control of that off. Oh, oh, got got go. Kusel, got no. Kusel. No. Copeland. Impaler! Impaler! Covering! Oh, he's panicking. Christian Cage is panicking. I think Copeland's going to get the win here. The cover! Two! And Luchasaurus! Last possible moment! I think it took too long, Taz, to make that cover. It was tough for Cope to recover. He had to push him over with his head. As Luchasaurus obviously stunned. Oh, and I spoke too soon. Uh oh. Uh oh boy, he got up quickly. Oh, good boot. God. Look at the reach of that leg. Uh, he's a giant man. I mean, like like you mentioned, uh, I believe it was you, Excalibur. You know, Copeland's roughly six foot five, and you know, my man right here, Luchasaurus, is, is north of six six. Oh, Luchasaurus, he looked behind him. He oh, saw no. those steps. Yeah, he moved those steps earlier, Excalibur. Good God. Uh, no, no, no. Good God. This. I think without a doubt would end the career of Adam Copeland. I, I Copeland saw the steps too and he started fighting his ass off. He had to. Yeah, he's fighting for his life, not just for the match. Copeland raining down right hands. Luchasaurus. What a night. Getting bludgeoned. He's really digging deep. Adam Copeland is. And Cope. Up to the top rope, he's bringing Luchasaurus up with them. Oh my God, this is a gigantic superplex. Wow, what a crash in the center of the ring. Holy crap. Man, oh man, you talk about what champions are made of, that's Copeland. And fans, just a reminder, Rick and Morty are back. Watch the new season this Sunday on October 15th, 11 p.m. only on Adult Swim. I hope Copeland can watch it. Well, he's, I'll tell you what, right now, Copeland, he's digging deep. He's, he's trying to pull from this live audience here, the energy here. But likewise, Luchasaurus trying to drag himself up right after that massive superplex. Hold on, Christian Cage approaching the ring. And oh, the referee doesn't see it. Nick Wayne is wedging, wedging that chair. This is all ploy, and it's working. Oh, oh my God. Copeland's looking for the spear. Oh, that's it. Copeland's done. Yeah, you're right. That's it. Choke slam. This one's over. Luchasaurus two and no. Man, that took some heart. And Holy smokes. Christian Cage is apoplectic. Nick Wayne thought it was three. I don't think he realizes what happened. Yeah, I'll tell you what. This was a, a gigantic kick out. Fans, this is AEW Dynamite Title Tuesday. This is the AEW in-ring debut of the rated R superstar, Adam Copeland. He just avoided the extinction from Luchasaurus, but both men with the same idea. And there we see Copeland. We, we thought lifelong friend Christian Cage, the man who is set Luchasaurus out here tonight to end the career of the rated R superstar. Yeah, you can just see the... <laughs> He is panicking Christian Cage. He does not want Copeland to get the victory. And this is more than the match, guys. This is a hell of a struggle we're seeing. 
And we're going to fight in this match. I mean, he yeah. just keeps digging deep. Oh, Earlier in this match, Luchasaurus put those oh, oh, those, those oh. stairs, yep. those ring steps oh, upturned. No. Oh, no. And now dragging Cope over the top rope. Oh, oh no. Don't. Oh, oh, wait, no. Complex sits back. Saved his, oh. saved his own hive oh. right there. That was a great job by Adam. Luchasaurus oh, stunned. Copeland, he's been behind the eight ball for most of this match, but perhaps with a sliver of hope here. What's he gonna do for God's sake? Oh, the steps! Taz, the shift to the right. Luchasaurus was anticipating the shot coming from the left side. Copeland shifts to his right, goes with the off the steps and connects with the spear. It was great footwork and, and so smart right there. Good footwork, great job by Copeland and lit up, just lit up. You are so what a great angle that was. You, you are seeing why Adam Copeland has been one of the great superstars throughout his career. A Hall of Fame career for Adam Copeland. Luchasaurus attempting it to end that career tonight, but Copeland not out of this fight yet. Wow. He is pushing himself to the limit for all he's worth. And Copeland even pushing past the limit. Look at these snakes, man. And Nick Wayne coming uh -oh. in. Uh -oh. Christian uh -oh. Cage. Now the distraction. Oh! Copeland. Bam! Oh! Oh! <laughs> and the title back. Smoking gun is in the hands of Christian Cage. And Nick Wayne got dropped. Bryce Remsburg, the official, he didn't see it. Luchasaurus got drilled in the back of the head oh, with that look, title. Look, he's looking at Cage. Luchasaurus, he thinks Christian hit him. <laughs> oh, oh, there is justice in the world. Holy backfire. Spear! Cover it! Since you thought you want Christian Cage, you got plenty of trouble coming up on Saturday night on Collision. Adam Copeland, the rated R superstar, successful. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, Nick Wayne, the chop block. Nick Wayne, the man who's just brainwashed by Christian Cage, like Luchasaurus, into doing doing Christian's bidding, and now. Even though Cope was victorious, Tez, he's in he's in danger. He's in, in serious jeopardy here. Yeah, two on one situation. Oh. Right, well, what that, that, that's Danielson. Brian Danielson, a shot to the back of the head on Christian Cage, the man that Danielson will face this Saturday on collision. But oh, Luchasaurus, the high kick. Oh boy. Uh, kick him while he's down. What a bum. Here comes Daddy. What a bum. Who we got coming now? Oh. BCC. That's right. Claudio Cash, the only wheeler unit of the Blackpool Combat Club. Even and up the odds. Things have just completely broken down tonight on Title Tuesday. And this does not take away from the fact that Copeland gets a win. Here comes oh, the, the Mobile Gates. Embassy Gates of Agony now. The team that the BCC will face on Friday night in Swerve Strickland. He faced Danielson earlier, has a vested interest. This has come completely unglued. What an incredible night this has been on Title Tuesday. It's been a great night, yeah. amazing night. And, and, and look at this, a, a preview of what we'll see this Saturday night on Collision. Absolutely. Congratulations to Copeland for that win. Oh, wait a second. Now, Hangman Adam Page. Yeah, Page is not enough frame to yay. Came hobbling out here with that knee. And, and Swerve Strickland picking up right where they left off. As, now this is, this is Bedlam. That's, in Kansas City. What a spear by Copeland! Christian Cage, he's tapping out to the lapel lock! Yeah. Will this be the scene? Will this be the scene? This Saturday at Collision, special 7 p.m. start time. Christian Cage, Brian Danielson, one on one for the TNT Championship. And Kevin, we're going to rip the lid off the building here tonight to begin things. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Rated R Superstar, Adam Copeland! The return of Adam Copeland, the Rated R Superstar, Nigel, to pro wrestling and Wrestle Dream has ripped the entire land off the industry. 
a new era is born and a 30-year relationship a friendship your pal christian cage apparently wants nothing to do with his longtime friend adam copel well, absolutely not you can understand why christian cage feels that way christian cage said more in three words than adam copel did in five minutes he dismissed his former friend and made the rated R superstar look positively PG next to Christian Cage. But Tony, you can feel it. You can feel it. The atmosphere with Adam Copeland here on Collision. And the rated R superstar hands a microphone. I know he's got a lot on his mind as we begin Collision live here on TNT. Listen to the fans. Say what you want, Nigel. They love Adam Copeland. Just wait till Christian Cage comes out here. Man, I'm still not used to that chant, but I appreciate it. Toledo, Ohio! Man, I gotta tell you, it is rainy, it is cold, it is nasty out there. But let's get it hot up in here, shall we? You know, last week, or this week actually on Dynamite, Christian Cage, yeah. He had a whole lot of things to say and in his deluded mind, I think he actually believes them. But I, I needed to come out here and address everything he had to say. Oh, boy, that didn't take long, did it? Uh, I don't want to state the obvious, but that's not Christian Cage. champion and I, listen to that reaction yeah i can hear it can't you kevin yeah we can feel it reverberating along with the betrayer nick wayne and luchasaurus what nick wayne did to darby allen was mind-blowing very deserving in my opinion tony I think both Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus have very meldable minds, and Christian Cage is manipulating them, positioning them just so. A lot of security leading the TNT champion to the ring. You can understand why Christian Cage can't trust Adam Copeland. For not trying to attack him before his TNT title opportunity as he defends his title here tonight. He is basically surrounded on all sides. You're talking about being outnumbered. Toledo. Shut your mouth while I'm conducting business. You got a lot of nerve, and you know you really proved my point. You really think you're that special, huh? You just walk out here on Collision, my show, by the way. Take up this opening segment while I'm in the main event. That doesn't sit right with me, so I brought my security detail out here because I'm sure you're a little upset about the things that I said to you last week. But this is for your protection, not mine. Now, I'm just gonna cut to the chase here because like I said, I have a main event to get ready for. Why don't you nicely Step out of that ring, walk back up that ramp, and hit the bricks. 
Because, wait, wait, hold on a sec, hold on a sec, I'm not done yet. Because you see what's gonna happen if you stick around here for much longer in AEW. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to put this to you politely. It's gonna be like you're from Toledo, Ohio because you'll be known for nothing. So like I said, get to stepping or else I'm gonna have my security remove you the same way that as the TNT champion in the face of Warner Brothers Discovery, I had the BCC escorted from the arena so there won't be any funny business, if you know what I mean. These guys are, they'll fight anywhere, you know that. And listen, I wanna have a straight up fight, a straight up fight with Brian Danielson. And if you're here, and if they're here, I know that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna beat Brian Danielson in the middle of this ring and prove what I've known all along. And as the TNT champion, I am without a doubt the best wrestler in the world. Whoa, 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 Wait a whoa, minute. whoa. Take a look, Tony. Here could be your next TNT whoa. champion right here after tonight. You know, Christian Cage. Christian Cage, I'm happy to hear that you want a fair fight because I've got some news for you. You'll be really happy about this. I talked to Tony Khan, and in the interest of having a fair fight, Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne have been banned from ringside. <laughs> what about that? And Keep now, your mouth shut. We're gonna find out between you and me who's the better man and who deserves to be the TNT champion. Oh, here comes the actual champion. The AEW Tag Team Champions are in the house. Winning those titles just last week in an absolute blowout over FTR. A true superstar, Ricky Starks. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is this, the remake to Wild Hogs, huh? I'm looking at a bunch of guys in the ring that should have said no to begin with. But I'm also looking at a bunch of guys who is taking up my time, me and Big Bill's time, the new AEW Tag Team Champions time. So excuse me for breaking up this little bash here, but I'll be damned if I sit in the back and let it go any longer. And truthfully speaking, I have no respect for you, Adam Copeland. I have no respect for you, Brian. But I do have respect for you, Christian. The only AEW champion that stands in this ring until, well, right now. Hope you don't mind, I got to just take a few minutes right quick. Excuse me, big fella. Excuse me, little fella. You, my sir, don't think that I forgot about the things that I had to do to deal with you and the BCC and all this other crap. I want you to understand one thing. Don't look at me like that with those bug eyes, sir. I'm talking to this guy. It's your stupid silk slacks, dumbass. Yeah, well, sadly, you didn't take style from the other place, but either way. And you took it from the rock. Either Good job. way. Can't help that you're a vanilla a midget version of that, but shut your mouth and talk to him instead of me, kid. Thanks. Know your role. Wow, that really set me over the edge. Either way, Brian, oh, dude. either way, the difference between you and me is that I'm actually a real AEW champion. So if you two don't like what I just said, how about you guys get with me and my friends and we can do the damn thing right now if a fight is what you're looking for. Wait a minute, Ricky Starks laying down the challenge to Copeland and Danielson? Oh, we've got something else going on! It's FTR! What a wild way to begin collision!
nation. The former champions. Good thing Ricky Starks is utilizing Christian Cage's security or it would be on right now. These fans are going bananas. Seven days ago, seven days ago, AEW, AEW Medical, they gave us an option. They said, you don't have to go out there to defend those titles tonight. You're banged up. You're both not 100%. You can take the night off. But everybody back there is banged up. All the boys and girls year round were banged up. The show must go on. So we said, no, we will defend the titles tonight. And obviously that was the wrong choice. But make no mistake, Ricky, make no mistake, Big Bill, that does not make you the absolute best tag team on this planet. That is reserved for FTR. So maybe, so maybe we don't get an immediate rematch. That's fine with us, we don't want one. We wanna work our way back up. We will earn our rematch. But titles or not, you gotta know we're coming for those necks. And look, yeah, last week we might have had the opportunity to, to step back from the match and not give it to you. But like you said, everybody's banged up. Everybody in this building's banged up. Do you think they want to go to work tomorrow? No. No. We all got to work. We got to work. And we made a decision. And yeah, last week, one night only, you were better than FTR. One night only. But we're too stubborn to step back. And I heard you say earlier, you and your friends might want to fight. Well, up top, Sir Elton John said it best. Saturday night's all right for a fight, Toledo. And speaking of that, Ricky talked about fighting right now. Christian Cage, why don't you and I do our match right now? Well, that match schedule will come up later on tonight. Yes, it is in that prime main event spot. Nigel, what about taking this match now, though? Wouldn't it be better for Christian? No, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh. Brian Danielson attacked the security guard. What? What a vagrant. You knew it was going to break down. Oh. Oh. Look who's on the retreat. Christian Cage is a caliber superstar. Big rig on Wait the a second, look at this. Look at this. That look. poor young man. He's just here. Look at this. To support his family and Brian Danielson is humiliating him on national TV. He is sending a message. He's looking right at Christian Cage. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing what's going to happen in our main event. A new TNT champion crowd here tonight. What a wild start here on Collision. He's not letting go. Look is out. And he's staring a hole into Christian Cage. And remember Luchasaurus. It won't be that easy when you face Christian Cage. Mark my words, the main event tonight, the TNT champion proves why he is the greatest champion in AEW today. You'll have to prove without Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus at ringside. A little tip for tat from Brian Danielson for what Christian Cage did to the BCC. Great job. Christian put the hands up and caught Danielson in the right hand or right arm. Christian Cage trying to defend himself. Just watch this. The right arm of Brian Danielson connected with the forearm of Christian Cage. Right. Danielson going to the top. The chant of this is awesome for the fans here. The knee over the top. He rolls him over, hooks the leg, and oh, no. Remember the titles on the line here. We are live, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight on TNT. And once again, we're so glad you're with us. There you see Bryce Rinsberg was checking in momentarily. Oh, beautiful lying in wait, Christian Cage. Roll up, but roll him up. Brian rolled through. 
Benji, you've seen on your screen, we just had confirmed the trio championship will be on the line next week at Battle of the Bells live from Memphis in the FedEx Forum. There you can see. Next Saturday. Next Saturday night in one week. The acclaimed badass. But this Saturday, Brian Danielson looks to do oh, the impossible. Oh, it's reversed. No. Oh, what a great counter by Christian Cage. You lock him or not, that was a hell of a wrestling counter. These two men are pushing each other to the limit here. Oh, what a match. It's what being the TNT champion's all about, I can tell you that. Beautiful Greco-Roman thumb to the eye. Christian to the top rope. Can he win it here? He's perched. He's got it. Frog splash. He shot it. One, two, two three. Not yet. Almost the three count, but almost doesn't count. Boy, the face of Christian Cage said it all right there. Take a look at the same time. Look at this. It was like gravity was delayed and then turned back on. The hang time was there, but so was the accuracy. Maybe even more important. He may be looking for the kill switch here, guys. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. And Danielson getting up in prime position for it here. There it is. Can he get it on? If he does, it's over. He's halfway yeah. there. Danielson steps on the back. Look at the counter. Very innovative. We've seen it before. Oh. It works every single damn time. Just stepped on the calf muscle that time and drove him down. And now, what the shots are on the sternum, Tony. Oh, he missed the round kick that time. Oh, oh. the arm. Man, that was strategic. Great counter by Christian. But Kenny, does he have another of those great counters left in him? Oh, you know what he's looking for now? The move that he made famous. He made famous. Here it comes. Spear! No! Oh. No! Boom. Boy, when those kicks start falling. One, two, no! Boy, that's a half a count away from seeing a new champion crown right here tonight. Folks, hope you're enjoying this as much as we are bringing it to you here tonight. This is wonderful. This is what it's all about, gentlemen, and I know that's an old cliche, but it really is. Look at that, that look on the face, the expression on the, the challenger. Christian Cage is limp. Or is he lying in wait? Yep, gonna kick oh. his head in. Flat the foot. Oh. Coming down hard and off. Oh, come on. Right on the shoulder, right on the trapezius. They brought Nigel McGinnis to his feet. Well, oh. I don't think this is going to be a spear. And that is Brian Danielson trying to steal somebody else's move. Here it comes, hitting. Oh, oh there's a spear! It. Oh, Christian, Christian, it. Oh, he got him! He got it! it. it. One, two, and three! three. No, he didn't win it! Oh, oh my no. God, how close is that? Rimsworth's hand was coming down for three. The drama is high. It is rich here in Toledo tonight. It was a great move by Christian Cage with that spear, the kill switch, but it did not win this damn match. It's still going on. Amen. Both men just doing all they can to push themselves out. There it comes. No. Oh, big mistake. Spear. Big mistake. The psycho D. Cover him. There it is. Oh. One, two, three. No. Oh, look how close the hand was. It was so close. And now it's the LaBelle lock. He's got it on. Christian. He's got it on. Look how close his feet are to the ropes, though. That's his only recourse. The ropes are behind you. The punishment is still going down. The pain, the agony. How brave. A brave champion in Christian Cage. Oh, he turned him to. Oh, that saved him. But he got to give him credit. He found the ropes. Got to put it on again. Now on the oh. side of the ring. There it is. Again, oh, with the damage to the right arm. Cannot complete the LaBelle lock. Yep, that's a good oh, call, Nigel. Oh, no. That's a good call. The damage has been done to this arm. Cannot. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Big Bill. Big what happened to the World Tag Team Champs? 
Ricky Starks. 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 Ricky Starks.
Fast forward about a year later, and I was giving him the confidence to go and start his training. Fast forward a little further, I get the dream gig. And for six months, whoever had an ear, I told them, my partner, he's great. You got to see this guy. Now, that, that's a... You don't do that you a don't lot. don't do that. Don't do that a lot. You just don't do that, especially as a new guy coming in. Sure. But I just, I've always believed in him. I truly believe he's the most underrated wrestler in the history of this industry. I truly, truly believe that. But for whatever reason, over the years, it's always been Adam and Jay or E and C. And that's, that's not by my design. I never, never wanted that. Yeah. Um, but it's... It's stuck with him, and I feel like that's a cancer that he's let fester and cloud his decision-making, and I, I, you know, he said that I had a rocket strapped to my back, and that minimizes the work that I've put into this. Sure. This is all I ever wanted to do. This is all he ever wanted to do. But part of me feels like he'd still be working an IT job in Southern Ontario wondering what if, if I wasn't the one going out on the limb to take the chances yeah. and open doors for him. And I hate to have to think that way, but when I sat down with it this week, I can't come to any other conclusion as to why he's acting the way he's acting. It's so crazy to imagine. I mean, you just rattled off all those different instances, but here you guys are so many more years later. I mean, you mentioned you guys have been friends for 40 years. To have the careers that you've had, I mean, the fame, the fortune, the championships, all of these things, but the common thread is still this jealousy, this competition. Are you surprised that this is a thing that still continues to bubble up to the surface? I mean, at this stage in our lives, yeah. I'm the godfather to his daughter. He's the godfather to my daughter. It's like, why at this stage are we still doing this? Yeah. Why does this need to keep repeating? And, and, and here's what I know is going to happen. You know, he's riding high right now. He came here first, I get it. I never meant to take away any spotlight. I don't want to take his TNT title. I don't want to do any of those things. I know he's going to come crashing to the ground. So if you don't want any of those things, you don't want that TNT title, you don't want that spotlight, what is it that you want at this point in your career? I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to. I don't want his TNT championship. What that means for me, I don't, this isn't the, the best answer, but I, I don't know. One thing I do know is eventually, eventually Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus are going to leave him high and dry. And when he hits the ground, I'll be the one to pick him up. Dad was here. He, he could really help us right now because I, I can't get over what you did to Darby Allen. He's like a brother to you. I don't get that. And you're going to learn soon enough that having great friends in wrestling are rare, very rare. You were at ringside. You kind of helped raise Darby and obviously your son. What, what were you thinking when all this went down? It was shocking to me, J.I. It was truly shocking. And in the time that I've had to reflect on it since it happened, I still, I just, I, I can't. I can't make sense of it. I don't understand. Darby has been like a brother to you, son. He, he's been there from the beginning. And it, I, I, this is just so out of character for you. And, and, and Christian, Christian, uh, the, the, the things that he has said about your father, the things he said, and, and to me, Nick, I, I, I don't recognize you right now. I don't know who this is in you. Son, you have to understand this. This is not the way. Son, please, please understand. Oh, oh. Hey, 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 it's your mother. Come on. You don't understand. You don't understand, JR. Okay. There, there was something about Darby. I, I was just, it was always about him. I was in his shadows. No one ever congratulated me for what I did for making it here. It was always him. They congratulated him for getting me here. It's time for me to prove myself and to prove why I'm here. This isn't it. No, this is it. This is me. And I'm under a new father figure now. Christian Cage. A better father figure than dad ever was. You ready to come home, son? <laughs> Nick, no, Nick, Don't no. Don't touch me. You are a terrible mother. Don't abuse him like that. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. What the? I'm sorry. You're dead to me. 
No. No. Nick, what have you done? What have you done? You should have picked up the phone. <laughs> Wait! Nick, no! No! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Darby Allen not oh, taking the betrayal of Nick Wayne lightly, laying out Christian Cage and then sending Nick Wayne Karina into that to that barricade. I mean, those are some strong, strong words by Nick Wayne, though, to his mom. Yeah, a lot, lot to unpack there, Shivani. Yeah. A lot, but the, the Darby just exploded on the scene there out of nowhere. I can't believe what he said to his mom for, for crying out loud. She was there at ringside when he first debuted here in AEW. She's been. I don't get it, guys. Thro throwing in his lot with. With Christian Cage is just oh, whoa, 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 hold on here. Oh, the Dobby's all over Nick out here on the Darby just hammering down on Nick Wayne, just kicking. And oh wait, Luchasaurus, Christian uh, Cage coming look. up behind. Oh man, Dobby, watch your back here. You're in trouble. And, oh, Luchasaurus, the, the blindside shot. Darby just speaking of blinded him. Mean, he's, he's blinded by this, this oh. hatred. This, this, Oh, wait a minute. Look behind you, Christian. No! Stinger just swept out the leg of Christian Cage, the TNT champion. And now, a shot in the back of the head on Luchasaurus. Stinger. He's not done yet. Darby was like a man possessed, but he. Oh, look at this. It looks like Nick Wayne might be missing a tooth. Yeah, wow. He's bleeding from the mouth. Nick was. And now, Christian about to get worn out. Oh, my God. Yeah, Nick in bad shape. And Scorpion here. Scorpion Deathlock inside the ring. It's Christian Cage pulled to safety by his, his so-called right hand of destruction. Luchasaurus. Right hand of destruction throwing, throwing a lifeline to the TNT champion. After what we heard in that sit down with JR in the back, I don't blame Derby for the way he was. No, I mean, oh, look at that. Oh, my tooth, Daddy. My tooth. Oh my God, what you do to his tooth? What did you do to his tooth? Christian shouting at Nari, what you do with his tooth, but that's horrible that young man's tooth is chopped in half. It's horrible that he stuck a knife in the back of his friend Darby Allen. Absolutely. Well, this is far from over, and this may be a decision that Nick Wayne lives to regret for a very long time, Tony. I think you are right on top of it, Excalibur. He's going to regret this one. This was a low moment in that young man's professional wrestling career. Wow, well, crazy, man. Crazy times here. Intense hostilities between Nick Wayne and Darby Allen. Is there no moment this man won't ruin? Well, we don't know. I mean, maybe Christian's coming out here to say something nice. He knows Rick to say something nice to Rick Flair or Sting. I mean, probably not a shot, but maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess all things are possible, Tess. I stand corrected. Yeah, but you might be right. So... Tony Khan is a billionaire, and this is the gift that he gives to Sting for his retirement, huh? This is the gift. So Tony basically, Sting, he basically gave you a suit, some gold chains, and a black liver. Great gift. But I gotta say, Rick, it's really impressive how you're moving around out here. I don't feel like I'm walking, I'm watching Weekend and Birdies at all. I mean, you can't even see, you can't even see the puppet strings. You look great. Relax, relax, people, relax. I know Ric Flair is not dead, relax. I also know there's not a god, because if there were a god, Ric Flair would have been dead 20 years ago. Now the real reason I'm out here... We are in Philadelphia. The real reason why I'm out here is because last week, Sting and Darby Allen decided to stick their nose in my business yet again. Darby 
How's your arm feeling? You still have some sour grapes that I beat you at Wrestle Dream in your hometown, huh? Well, I'll give you one more chance. And Philadelphia, it's something that your Phillies w couldn't get done either. So go ahead and take a look at something that you will never be, a champion. Now it's obvious that this situation isn't gonna go away until I make it go away. So this is my proposition to you two. Now I know, Sting, you have this, this beautiful dream in your head that you wanna make it to Revolution because you started with AEW at Revolution in 2021. You've got this beautiful picture painted for yourself, but I see it a little bit differently. You see, I don't want to wait until revolution for you to be gone. I want you gone right now. So I'm saying there's three of us. And when I look in that ring, I see the two of you and I see Ric Flair. Hey, you can take Ric Flair as a partner if you want. I mean, he's one super kick away from his pacemaker kicking out and him turning into dust, but hey. I'm saying, at full gear, get yourselves a partner, and your retirement is gonna come early, and it's not gonna be a big celebration, it's gonna be more like a funeral. Now somebody hit the champ's music. I said hit my music! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm allergic to jackasses. Okay. <laughs> First of all, Darby and I, we're gonna find a partner, and second of all, we accept your challenge. See you there. Well, the challenge has been accepted. Sting, Darby Allen, and their partner, at full gear, but Ric Flair has arrived in AEW. The gift for Sting from Tony Khan. Wow, what a moment. Adam, what's your take on what we just saw in the ring? Christian Cage, Sting, Ric Flair, Darby Allen. I mean, I know that you and I spoke last week and you said that you were not going to fight Christian Cage, but has anything changed? Honestly, Renee, no. I mean, my friendship with Christian Cage, it's more important to me than anything that happens within this business. It just, it just does. Adam. Don't be stupid. I know you came to AEW to ride off in the sunset with this fairy tale ending with your best friend, but that's not the type of world we're living in. Do you think last week I wanted to break Nick Wayne's face? No. But it's kill or be kill here, man. Hey, Darby, you know how much I respect you. I can't even believe we're having this conversation. I gotta interrupt right now. I know what it's like to have the blinders on. I was up and down the road with Lex Luger. Yeah, and I had the blinders on. You need to take yours off. You know that legend out there that just said he'd be by my side on, the, on my way out? He is probably the dirtiest player of all time. I learned from him. I learned how to see right through guys like Christian. I can see right through him. You need to open your eyes up and open them quick before it's too late. Are you hearing me? I don't even know that you're hearing me. Listen to what I'm saying before it's too late. We go way back. Don't mess it all up now. Get with it. Rated off superstar, Mr. Copeland. Feeling good right here. And the rated PG-13 superstar, Tony Schiavone, take it away. <laughs> Adam Copeland, you look like it, Phil. Okay, go ahead. You got it, my man. Look like you're feeling good, and I can see why the fans here 
and around the world love the rated R superstar. A week ago, you were confronted by Sting and Darby Allen. So what you thinking? If I may, Tony. First of all, Tony Schiavone, everybody. Uh, don't be all humble. If you knew all the hats that this man wore backstage, you'd cheer even louder, I promise you. So thank you, Tony. Yeah. Obviously he slipped Adam a hundred dollar bill on the yeah. land. Tony Chance, enough, please. You know, last week, Sting got in my face. He also said we go a long way back. And, and for those of you that were confused by that, we do. Because Sting and I, we've had a lot of the same injuries. We faced a lot of the same things. So over the years, we've been an ear for each other. We've been a sounding board for each other. And I respect the hell out of that man. I also respect Darby Allen. Because I think Darby Allen is one of the linchpins of this company. He's one of the, the foundations of this industry going forward. And if you don't see that, you're blind. But Tony, I know you want answers, right? Everybody wants answers. What am I gonna do? Am I going to team with Sting and Darby Allen at full gear? We mentioned how Adam Copeland trying to rekindle the tag team with his longtime best friend, Christian Cage. Christian Cage. Not interested. No uncertain terms. It's not the bigger, better thing. That's how Christian's feeling. He's the TNT champion, for God's sakes. He's got Luchasaurus right there with him. I think he's, yeah, he's got Nick Wayne there. He's got his posse. Posse, I said. Nick Wayne with all his teeth. Yeah. Chipper Ruda. Louisville, shut your damn mouths while I conduct business. Now, Adam, before you give your answer, I just want to paint a little picture for you. I am going to retire Sting at full gear, whether he likes it or not. And also, you haven't seen Darby Allen around that much lately, and if you have, you might have noticed that he has a gimp arm, a gimp arm that will never be the same after I dumped him on those stairs at Wrestle Dream. Now, I don't think I need to remind you, Adam, or anybody else of your neck problems. And I'd hate for this fairy tale of yours to turn into a nightmare. So I'm gonna go ahead and suggest that you back down from me right now. If you know what's good for you, Adam, you will back down from me or else I'm gonna snap your neck. I'm gonna snap your neck and leave you in a wheelchair to live the rest of your life undignified. I'm gonna leave you in a wheelchair to live the rest of your life and let your kids wipe the drool away from your face saying, Daddy, you used to be somebody. But I can also see this isn't sinking in. So guys, give them a little preview. Uh oh Luchasaurus, Copeland's out, Copeland's outnumbered here. Charging in, Copeland. Fighting, firing, right hands, and now Nick Wayne hesitated for a second, and Copeland seized on it. And now look who's trapped here, or maybe he's not trapped. Christian Cage in the ring with Copeland. Talk about history between these two men. Uh oh, wait, 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 behind you, behind you, no! And that's, that's 
Yeah, that, that's, that's his man. That's Christian Cage's man. That right hand of destruction of Christian Cage using that lariat to the back of the neck, the extinction, as he calls it. And now, Nick Wayne coming off the Blades World, the cutter off the ropes once again, concentrating on the neck of Adam Copeland. And that definitely put down Copeland with the neck for sure. And that was actually done by Nick Wayne. I don't know what Nick's looking for. Christian gave him direction. And, oh, the chip. Christian Cage, I mean, he said. If there, I mean, there, there's maybe nobody more familiar with the neck problems uh -oh. of Adam Copeland. Sting is here! Oh, the Stinger, the icon, with a shot to the face of Nick Wayne and Darby Allen, like a bat out of hell! And he came in hot and got right on Christian! And Copeland drops Luchasaurus, and Darby and Christian Cage, obviously a lot of unfinished business after Wrestle Dream. And now look at Christian Cage, though. Turn things around, Christian. Oh boy, oh boy. Christian doesn't oh realize boy. it. Christian, you're in trouble, buddy. Copeland, primed and ready. Unbeknownst to the TNT champion, the rated R superstars coming in hot, I'm telling you. And the spear! You wanna snap my neck? I'm gonna beat your ass. It is on you, stupid little son of a bitch. Sting, you are right. You want to partner up full gear, Darby? You want to partner up full gear? I'm your man. Wow! What a partner indeed! The Rated R Superstar! The Daredevil! And the Icon! At full gear to face! TNT champion Christian Cage. Christian is red hot right now. He got upstage and embarrassed by Copeland and, and Sting and Darby. What a match sign for full gear, but fans, right now, we have a message from AWCO resident. All right, give me the six to keep going here. Hang on. Looking off the bottom, I thought Christian was gonna head to the ring. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, Christian, he's backing off Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne. Man, we're gonna wait to full gear, but fans, right now, let's go to the back for the EW president. Our main event on collision continues in what has become a wild trio match. And right now, Sting trying to escape, but Vincent is taking over the. Oh, oh nasty. Oh. Again, just a weird guy. Fans, don't forget that we're coming to Montreal for two great nights. The Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. It's going to be our debut. Dynamite and Rampage. And fans, don't forget, winter is coming. Rampage, Wednesday, December 13th at the College Park Center in Arlington, Texas. Of course, all seats available at AEWTIX.com. And be sure to join us, fans. Look at this. This great teamwork here by the Righteous. That's exactly right, Tony. Yeah. We are seeing true cohesion on yes. the part of the Righteous. Yes, we are. Lance Archer, this does not bode well for full gear next week. If Sting, Copeland, and Allen can't pull it together here tonight. What chance do they have against the patriarchy? We will find out. There's going to be a lot of bad blood in that one. Finally seeing Adam Copeland and Christian Cage on opposite sides of the ring. But before they get there, like you said, Nigel, Sting is in deep waters here. And right now, threatening Aubrey Edwards. Already, I'm sure Lance Archer is going to be fine for attacking the security here. But what's a find to him and a guy like Jake Roberts, his manager? Well, the money that Archer commands all over the world. 
And again, Vincent taking the lead here. Forehead to forehead with Sting. And now he'll whip Sting in. Sting ahead of Steen, ducks once, twice. And a shoulder tackle takes Vincent down. Sting can barely stand. Gets to one knee. Vincent, as you can see, he's trying to get to his feet. He's not so sure where he is. And well, now Sting sees his corner. He's he, five feet from it. Oh, he was there. Oh. And Lance Archer pulled him away. Sting with a lariat. Staggers Archer. And here comes Darby Allen. Boom. Shotgun drop kick. Dutch is in. He gets hammered by Darby. Darby holding that shoulder. Oh, that AC joint separation or injury that he has. Elbow. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Made a mistake there, I'm sure. Put him inside. Trouble here now for Darby Allen, Sting, and Copeland. Maybe not. You've got to give Darby Allen this. He's resilient. Oh, oh, boy. But for how much longer? Looked like he was going to try maybe the code red, but there. And a smile and a laugh from Vincent. This is the main event. Don't go anywhere. It continues in picture and picture. Darby Allen, one of the new stars who helped brand AEW and put them on the map. Two time and the inaugural TNT champion. He has been doggedly pursuing that title for a third time. Currently held by who, Tony? Christian Cage. Yes, indeed, the greatest TNT champion and father of all time. There were great TNT champions throughout the short history of AEW. Christian Cage is one of them. I'm not going to say the greatest, but was one of them as Dutch Elbow finds the the jaw of Darby Allen. Let me ask you this, Tony. Okay. As you continue to be a, a father to five children, have you taken any lessons from Christian Cage? Yeah, I sure have. Not how to treat your kids. That's a lesson I've learned. Elbow or knee that time. A lariat from Big Dutch. Right out, hold on. On. One, two. I'm telling you, Nigel, this righteous team is a hell of a team, buddy. Yes, thank you. And the team with Larch Archer, they are gelling together very well. Jake the Snake Roberts, one of the most feared and revered legends of all time, has had a big smile on his face for this entire matchup, Tony. Yeah, he's a weirdo. Oh, he's weird as well, is he? Yes, he is. You call everybody weird. I can't see. Now a guy can smile through all of this. All this. He's a sadist. He okay. likes what he sees. Look at this. Vincent absolutely commanding in the center of the ring. Darby Allen has got to get over the ring. Adam Copeland has been pacing nervously back and forth for the last five minutes. He realizes the position that his team is in. Driving Darby Allen down. And Vincent, rear chin lock applied. We're on collision. And we're coming to you from Oakland. Thanks for being with us here on TNT. Tony and Nigel hit a big elbow that time by Vincent. Darby Allen has suffered a significant beating already with a damaged shoulder joint at the hands of Lance Sanchez. Oh, look at that. Delete suplex. Darby Allen desperately crawling as if through sand to try and get over there. Adam Copeland realizes again the danger that his team in. If Allen cannot take over, if Allen cannot make the tag here, this match is over. And what position does it put this trio in 
one week from full gear. Will they be able, Nigel, that's a great question. Will they be able to be confident enough to go into full gear next Saturday? Against Christian Cage, Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus. Tag, here's Dutch. And tag, here's Vincent. And the Righteous with a little double team on a prune Darby Allen. This could be it. Oh, no. Oh, Darby. One, two. No. Nope. Where does Darby get this from? He's unbelievable. He's resilient. I will give him that, certainly. He's like a cuddly T-1000 from Terminator 2. Just keeps on going. Darby, though, desperately needs a tag. Wait a minute. Oh, Glenn Sanchez got Sting. No respect for the icon. Oh, here we go. Adam Copeland sits Archer, crashing to a ring post. Copeland says, bring me in, and it's going to get it. The rated R superstar from top. Both members of Righteous down. Adam Copeland sending Vincent down. Oh, the spear in. Lance Archer. Dutch goes crashing down. He's taking on all three men. Oh, watch out. Boom. Adam Copeland jaw set. He's ready for full gear. He's ready for Christian Cage next Saturday. Finally, the smile has gone from Jake the Snake Roberts' face. And Copeland looking. Darby wants in. I think the tag was made to Darby. Here comes Darby. He's looking for the coffin drop. He's got it. Archer reached up, but still could not get him down. Oh, look at that. Copeland got caught. Got caught by a big slam that time by Dutch. And Sting is fighting. This has completely broken down, and we are loving every bit of it. Fans are with Sting with each and every blow, and he is taking off both members of the Righteous. Well, hold on. Scorpion death drop coming up. And an elbow. Now we're seeing some cohesion. Yes, we are. Great teamwork from Sting, Copeland, Darby. They send Vincent in. Stinger's flash! Sphere! Cover! One, two, it's over! We saw about 15 minutes of an ass kicking trios match, and we're going to see one in one week at full gear. Like you said, Nigel, finally some cohesion, and it was at the end, it was enough to win it. It took them a while to get on the same page, but ultimately, the icon, the iconoclast, and the freak pick up the victory here tonight. Big win, to say the least. And now, what is directly ahead? Our trip to Southern California, beginning on Wednesday. Oh, we might get a little bit of a preview. Uh-oh. Oh, we are being blessed. I'm glad we're being blessed. Twice in a night. I am glad we're being blessed. What arrogance. Give it to me. Arrogance just oozes from the pores, leaving him sneering. It's Christian! For Nigel McGinnis, I'm Tony Schiavone. Thanks for being with us. We are out of time tonight. Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Nick Wayne. And Christian, two things to address, first of all. Tomorrow night, here at Full Gear, Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, Nick Wayne, against the team of the Rated R Superstar, Adam Copeland, Darby Allen, Sting. We've seen the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, says he'll be here with Sting. 
But also tonight, there's a big four-way match on this program. Brian Cage, Commander Trent Beretta, Pinto, Will Vi. The winner will get you on Rampage for the TNT title here tonight. Well, first of all, Los Angeles. In a town full of plastic, phony people. It's gotta be nice for you to have somebody out here that's actually gonna speak a little truth. Now it's lucky for you, you can hold the microphone, it's your job, get back here. Just hold it up to my mouth properly. It's lucky for you that tomorrow night at Full Gear, not only do you get to see Sting's last match in Los Angeles, you are gonna see Sting's last match ever, and that's a guarantee by me. Because you see, I'm getting sick and tired of looking at Sting and his stupid face paint. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing people bow down to him and call him an icon. An icon, really? I guess living off your past name and stealing a paycheck for the last 15 years makes you an icon, huh? Well, tomorrow night, Sting, it's all gonna be over. No, what's really interesting to me is what's gonna happen to Darby Allen when he loses that, that mentor he has. Hey, Darby. If you find yourself ever needing a little bit of fatherly guidance, I think you know who to call. Now, I have a question for you, Tony. Is Ric Flair gonna be ringside with these guys tomorrow? I understand Ric Flair's gonna be here. Okay, okay, well, Rick, I'm gonna send a little message to you right now. I just wanna say that it's actually a good thing that, you're, that you look identical to the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt already. Because if you stick your nose in our business, it will be your literal come to Jesus moment tomorrow night. Now, Adam Copeland. If you haven't already, after tomorrow night at Full Gear, you're gonna regret ever signing that contract in AEW. I'm conducting my business, keep it down! Now you can fool all these people under the guise that you came here to reform our tag team, but I know you better than anybody, and I know your track record, and what you really came here to do is try to steal my spotlight. Here's the thing, Adam. I am not the same person that I used to be back when. I am Christian Cage. I am the patriarch of AEW. And while you were coddled, cuddled, insulated, and taken care of because you were the golden boy, I was stuck in the trenches, scratching, clawing, and fighting for every inch. And tomorrow night, we're gonna see whose career path served who better. Because I guarantee you this, and Beth, keep the girls up late. Keep, keep Lyric and Ruby up late and bring them up really close to that television set, because Adam, I guarantee you this. I am gonna break your neck. Four-way is coming up tonight. You'll give a winner a title shot. Well, you see, as the TNT champion, it's pretty obvious that the powers that be obviously want me on the programming every second that I can. It doesn't matter who of the four I face tonight. The fact is, Tony, I could actually beat all four at the same time anyway. Oh, I'm gonna prove it, I'm gonna prove it. And hey, just like my close personal friend, James Harden said, after the four-way tonight, I'm gonna keep running things here in AEW, trust me. Like my close personal friend, James Harden said, 
I don't work within the system. I am the system. Oh, now, that's that a bad system come to the end of Sting's career and breaking Adam Copeland's neck. Guaranteeing not only Sting's last match here in LA, but ending the run to the finish line. And what about those heinous comments about Adam Copeland's family? Come but on, Steve man. Cage backs up every word that he says. If I was Adam Copeland, I'd stay at home, roast some marshmallows. Full gear tomorrow night live on pay-per-view. Standing by right now, Lexi Nair with the world. describe Christian Cage because half of them are baloney. Excuse me? Yes. They're adjectives, Tony. Oh, Dr. Ken Jeong, hey, not a fan of the TNT champion Christian Cage, and understandably so. Here we go. One of the greatest performers in the history of this business. Said he would be with Sting every step of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nintable Flair! But I've got to quote Christian Cage, who said about Flair, he comes back more often than herpes, and at this point, he's just as welcome. I need to quote the nature boy, Ric Flair. He is styling and profiling in 2023. Ric Flair arrived in AEW said that if Sting was going to call it a career at Revolution, he would do so with the Nature Boy at his side. Righteous is 
Adam Copeland even wearing face paint there. I love it. Yeah, the war paint. Worn by all three members. AC Stevo at ringside. Wow. Jackass legend. How ironic. Adam Copeland, the biggest jackass out here tonight. Oh, would you stop? Well, let's be honest, he came back. Well, we got to say that Nick Wayne is a hell of a performer. The kid in his former abuse. Oh! Whoa, my God! How about that? And look at Adam Copeland sting. Both men want in. Both men want their chance. But Darby, can he make the crawl? He would have to pass Nick Wayne along the way. Look at this now. Desperately reaching in, Adam Copeland. He knows if Allen doesn't make a tag now, this match is over. Saw him. Oh, wait. He crawled under the ring. He oh. crawled under the ring. Oh, he's living up to his name now. Cunning. And remember, Cunning, there we go. Christian Cage, he said he's going to break Copeland's neck. He's going to end Sting's career. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Just a huge body block by Luchasaurus. A Luchas mental general that Christian Cage is, and there's the tag. I hate to agree with you, but Cunning is right. That was that was pretty darn sneaky on two levels. This man is so magnetic. Look at a talking Darby there. Vera. Nobody in the corner. Did he say virile? I certainly Vera. did. Oh, my. That's a term we only reserve for Tony Schiavone. Oh! That's Tony Schiavone. Get it right. Oh! Christian Cage pouring on the punishment here. Oh, oh wow! Into the corner. Look at oh. this. As Adam Copeland tries to get back to his feet. Earlier in the match, he was... Giving Darby Allen the clap. Oh, that's something you say about Ric Flair. Now, look at this. As Copeland looks on, Christian thinking, oh, no. Oh, oh. 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 Christian pulled, pulled up short, put on the brakes. But, oh! Christian and Darby plonked heads. Yeah, Flair encouraging Darby to get up, but man, this one has been high impact. Look how close Allen is now. Fingertips nearly. Here we go. There it is. Oh, look at them run. Christian, the rated R superstar, finally with his hands on Christian Cage. But the Luchasaurus. illegal man. Luchasaurus there to intervene. Oh. Copeland. Boy, Adam Copeland looks great, and you know he wants to tear Christian apart. Oh, and Paler on Luchasaurus. And Copeland's not done yet. The spear! And Nick Wayne. Wow. Incredible strength. Incredible strength there as well. Watch it! Darby Allen! The battery ram! Wait a second. You see the gears turning What's for the icon. What's he going to do? Did he leap over Ric Flair? I think he did. Look at the smile on Flair's face. As Luchasaurus returned to the ring, Adam Copeland. Copeland has the former TNT champion lined up. Here he goes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Lucha, oh, Luchasaurus now with Sting and Copeland. Boy, they are hammering the big guy here, man. He still won't, still will not go off his feet. Oh, Sting. Well, we saw this the last time they teamed. The tandem scorpion death drop from Sting and Adam Copeland. I still can't believe it. And a fight on the outside as well, as you can see by the screen now. Nick Wayne to the waiting arms of the Stinger.
And the rated R superstar. Oh, wow. Delayed vertical. Oh, oh, the fans are loving it here in this capacity crowd, guys, in the Kia Bowl. Six sadists. Tremendous triple teamwork by Copeland, Sting, and Darby. But Luchasaurus just keeps on coming. Yeah, watch out, watch out. Rated R superstar. Big guy. Oh, to the back of the neck. Yeah, big guy was behind you. Where's Christian Cage and all this? Adam Copeland has triple fusion in his neck. That came directly from Christian. Oh, uh, the jacket's off by the Nature Boy. Oh, oh. Christian Cage. Yes. Oh, don't you dare. Making sure Ric Flair never has any more kids. But Christian a, Cage, he put his hands on Ric Flair first, Tony. This is what? That's Just right. Don't you dare play that back. He put his hands on Flair first. And that, that's why the referee's discretion is in play here. As oh, here Cage we go. TNT charge. He hit Luke of That was an accident. Oh, look at him run again. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, my God, he jumped around. Christian Cage, he's leaving his team. He's going to be on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's court before long. The spear by Copeland. And Christian Cage has just walked out. He's gone. He's three on one. He's walked out of the patriarchy. But the coffin drops. Copeland covers. Superstar Adam Copeland. I think there's a Christian Cage shaped puff of smoke from where he left the arena. He beat feet so quickly, Tony. Yeah, I think it's from his rear end, too, to be honest with you. Oh, very witty. Touche. What teamwork we witnessed. From the icon Sting, the rated R superstar Adam Copeland, and the daredevil Darby Allen. Chicago, you know the drill when I'm conducting business. Now everybody knows a true champion is gracious in victory and humble in defeat. And as you all know, this past Saturday at Full Gear didn't exactly go our way. Now I can stand here with my hand over my heart and tell you with all sincerity and honesty that I did not lose that match. Nick Wayne did not lose that match. Luchasaurus lost that match. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. And that's unacceptable to me. And you know, I went home and I was thinking to myself, how do I get rid of this, this aura, this losing aura, this stench of losing? And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. That both of your lives have benefited and only gotten better since you've been associated with me. And since you're both my children, it's time that I recreate you both in my image. What is Christian talking about? He's, in, he's out of Luchasaurus, his mind. Luchasaurus, take a knee. It's 
is a bizarre request from Christian Cage. It's got to be embarrassing for Luchasaurus, I man. said take a knee. And remember, it was Christian that hit Luchasaurus with that TNT yes. championship. That's, that led to Christian losing. That led to Luchasaurus losing the match. I'm not sure what you're not understanding about this, you moron. Get down on a knee right now. Backhanding. Come it's, on. Oh, man. It's, don't. it's common in sports to take a knee when the coach oh, talks to you. When the coach Stop. talks to you, take a knee. Coach or father? Oh. Coach. The name Luchasaurus to me will forever be associated with being a loser. I thought long and hard about your name. And I came up with a name of strength. A name of toughness. A name that means certain victory. A name that never means defeat. A name that has served me well throughout my career. You are my finisher. And this Saturday on Collision, you're gonna have a chance to prove you deserve this moniker because you will forever be known from here on out as Kill Switch. Christian Cage dubbing Luchasaurus, or I should say, granting a new name to Kill Switch. Nick Wayne. <laughs> No hesitation. <laughs> None. That's how you take direction without direction. Nick, oh, get up. Taz, Nick, get on your feet. Nick, get on your feet. You don't ever get on your knees for another person. Do you understand me? You're different, Nick. You're special. You are the son that I've always wanted and now I have. You are my golden boy. I see things in you that I've never seen in another person. You are me. I love you, Nick. Nick, you are a golden boy, and you will forever be known as the prodigy, Nick Wayne. Oh, the, oh wait, who's? Somebody's that, coming. That's, that's Shayna Wayne. That's Nick's mother. Who? Why, why is your mom? Why is, it, why, is your, why is your mom here for? I think Shayna is pleading with her son. And I don't blame him. Just pull him out. Pull him, pull him out of the room. All right, all right, hold on. I've heard enough already. What the hell are you doing here anyway? You are a terrible mother. Sure, listen, listen, maybe you love Nick unconditionally like any mother should, but guess what? Loving your child unconditionally isn't good enough. You couldn't even provide for Nick. You, you made $40,000 a year being a waitress. This kid is a prodigy. That was embarrassing for Nick. You think he wanted his mom to be a waitress? Look at me, I'm a legend, I'm a champion. I can give Nick the world and everything in it. You couldn't give him anything. And you know something else? It's a good thing that your husband is dead already. This is one of the because worst. Nick would have disowned his father anyway because he realizes that his father was never as good of a wrestler as I was. And not only that, his father, Buddy Wayne, and Nick knows this as well, was not near the man or the father that I am. So do me a favor, and you know what, Shane? It's it's really sad that it came to this because, you know, if you played your cards right, things could have been a little bit different. But that's a conversation for another day, so what I'd like to have right now is for you to get the hell out of my ring. Go punch your card, because I think your shift is about to start at Denny's. Get the hell out of my ring right now. This is, this is one of the worst yeah, things I've ever seen. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. That's... Luchasaurus has kill switch seen enough. We all heard that. enough on your knees. I didn't stutter. Get on your knees right now, kill switch. Don't look at me with that.
that stupid look on your face. Get back on your knees now. He ain't moving, guys. Wow. Christian Cage. We can do this easy way or the hard way. These fans here in Chicago reminding Get that man who he is. I'll make you take that mask off and show the world why you wear that mask. I'll make you show your hideous face right now. Back down. Oh, 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 what the hell? Shayna Wayne just collateral damage is... Nick Wayne's not even going to his mother. Go to your mother, what are you doing? Nick, go to your mother. What? He's leaving. What? I think her head hit that rope, man. I'm... What is he looking for? What is Nick went? Oh, that can't be. All right, that's, uh, we've seen enough. Yeah, get, this needs to get, stop. Yeah, this, yeah, is right. Absolutely. this is crazy. We've seen enough. Get security. Someone do something quickly here because this has been. See, uh, Wait a sec. No. Is Nick Wayne? Is he just? Is he like? He's like possessed. Like what is going on here? Shane. Someone needs to stop this. We need security. We need. For God's sake, stop yeah, this. Yeah, someone has to stop this now. Don't even, don't even shoot it. No, 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 don't. Yeah, don't shoot it. Exactly. Just wait. Look at him standing by. Is do it. Do it now. Christian. Smashers, do it. Do it. Be the kill switch. Be the finisher. This, this can't. This cannot be allowed to happen. No, this I'm not going to watch this. No, this is I'm horrible. Not the hell with this. This is good. This has gone beyond anything we've ever witnessed here. Oh, don't do this, Luchasaurus. Kill switch, whatever the hell you are. Don't do it. Thank God. Yeah, baby. Adam Copeland. Just oh, the spear on Nick Wayne. And the shot to the face of Luchasaurus and... Oh, Christian Cage. Whack him in the damn head right now. Remember how quickly he fled when faced with the, the proposition. And wait, look... No, kill, kill switch, Luchasaurus, whatever you want to call him, he just bailed out Christian Cage. Nick Wayne. Look at the face of Copeland. Copeland stopped doubling him. Copeland! Target with the spear! That's what you get, Nick Wayne! No! No! Oh, Impaler as well! He's, he's not done. My son, that's my child! This, this no, young no, prodigy. I, 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 Adam's lost his cool hair. Yeah, Don't yes. do this. Look at his face, man. Look at him. Yeah, he, he despises Christian Cage. Adam does. Adam Cole, he's blinded by Christian Cage. He's not even. He's not even thinking about Shayna Wayne in the. No! Oh my God! Oh my God! Right in front of his mother. What is going on here? This is all you, Christian Cage. I'm not taking up for what Adam Cole just did, but it's Cage's fault. I don't think Copeland even. Realize that Nick's, Nick Wayne's mother, Shane Wayne, was even, I think you might be right. He just blacked out. I, I'm assuming that's what happened with Copeland. But oh my God, this woman just watched the sun head and came in here. My God, what did we witness here tonight? Holy oh God, what the hell was this? A situation entirely of Christian Cage's own making. There's no peacock party. Former TNT champion as well. Yes, he was the TNT champion. Oh no, no, no! As they, he the time Oh my God! He broke the man in half. Spine first on the edge of the ring. The blood's on you, Adam Copeland. Oh, on Adam Copeland, he didn't do that. Yes, what is he wrong did. With this he, man? he 
inspired and he irritated Christian Cage, who by proxy has turned Losasaurus into a kill switch in machine. Look at this. Oh, from behind. The massive lariat. One, two, three. That was complete destruction. Complete. Win this match. Kill switch. And just like that, heading at, wait, wait a minute. Come on. Oh, he's got a chair. Oh, no, he's got two. You know what that means? That means he's going to try to put someone in a chair. He's trying zone. to copy Adam Copeland. Christian Cage tested him oh, on Wednesday, was going to give him the opportunity to do this. Ready, now he's going to choke slam this kid on the chair. Oh, my God. As somebody who gave his mind, body, and soul for this business, Nigel, you cannot, you cannot sign off on this. I played the fifth. This is absolutely horrible. This is what the patriarchy is all about. I mean, these two boys, there's nothing more they can do. Yeah. We knew it was here! Watch out! Straight it on! Oh, he's... He's back! And he's got his jaw set, and he means business! Adam Copeland smashing away! Repeatedly! On the ring, Chris and kill switch! He's already put one of Christian Cage's sons in the hospital. Yes! Oh, he's going to do it to the other one, too. Somebody has got to stop. He just ripped a piece of steel off of that now broken chair. Oh, and look at this. That's across the mouth. Christian Cage is not here tonight. Otherwise, there's no way that Adam Copeland will come out and do this. No! No, don't you dare! That's what he's gonna do! Look at him! Look at the eyes of Adam Copeland! First, it's the prodigy, Nigel! And the fans are going absolutely ballistic! Adam Copeland doesn't want to do it! Christian Cage has forced him to do it! What are you talking about? Absolutely right, Kevin Kelly! is that when you are pushed into a corner you react with violence Adam Copeland came to AEW wanting to reunite with his longtime friend Christian Cage wanted nothing to do with him and tried to take Adam Copeland out and like a scolded child who didn't get his way Adam Copeland has wreaked havoc oh Wait. over AEW I cannot believe this Jeez. look at kill switch the monster! He's been concerned! He's coming up! He's pulling himself up! I don't think Adam Copeland has ever seen anybody do what Killswitch is doing now! My God! Now the, you're gonna get it! The monster! No! He's got oh, it! stop! On the chair! You are right, Kevin Kelly, when you said this is all the cause of Christian Cage. And the smile across the face of Adam Copeland. A sick sadist. He's not done. And you're loving it. These sick people in Pittsburgh, don't you? Ah! When Christian Cage sees this, mark my words. Is gonna get it from the Patreon. Or just maybe. Maybe when Christian Cage sees this, he's gonna realize Adam Copeland is coming for him next. Wow. What an unforgettable moment that we witnessed here live tonight on Collision. I'm here waiting, trying to get a word in with Adam Copeland. I mean, we just witnessed a vicious beatdown of Kill Switch in the ring. Excuse me, Adam. Do you mind if I, I, I get a I word? I like you. I like you. Go. Go. 
You want to know what I have to say? Fine, I'm coming straight down the barrel at you, Jay. Or should I call you Christian Cage? Or better yet, should I call you the Patriarch now, huh? All of this, all of it. What just happened to Nick Wayne on Wednesday, what just happened to Kill Switch, it's all on you, it's your fault. And it's all because of your insecurities. Because when I got here, you were afraid that, that people were gonna compare you to me some more. That you were gonna be second fiddle, that you were gonna be riding my coattails again. And I could care less about any of that. I told you at the beginning of our careers that our friendship was more important than what anyone could say, whatever the industry would throw at us, but you couldn't get past your own ego, could you, man? The night I got here, you were about to concerto sting. Wednesday, you're about to have kill switch, concerto Shane Wayne. You not so subtly told me what you think about me and the chances of us teaming again. You put Beth's name, my children's name, in your stupid little mouth. And you know I got a short fuse, man. You know I do, and you kept trying to light it, but I wouldn't let you until, until you said the one thing. You said you're gonna break my neck. Put me in a wheelchair, drooling all over myself, while my children looked at me and said to their friends, my dad used to be something. So now, you're not just threatening me. You're not just threatening my future, you're threatening theirs. So now I'm hunting you. I already got two heads on my wall. Go to the hospital. Ask your prodigy what happens when I snap. Ask Kill Switch what happens when I snap if he can speak yet. I am gonna change your soul. I am gonna hurt you. I am gonna kick your face in. When you go to bed at night, you're gonna close your eyes and these are the eyes that you're gonna picture and the man behind them and the pain that I am gonna bring to your world. I ain't gonna take your TNT title because it's the most important thing in your world and it's secondary to me, man. But I am challenging you. Dynamite, December 6th, Montreal, Adam Copeland versus Christy Cage for the TNT Championship. And man, I am gonna go places that you can't go and you've never been because you don't have that dog in you. I'm gonna take your TNT title. Terrible human. What I'd like to do right now is go ahead and invite the Rated R superstar, Whoa. Adam Copeland, to this ring right now. Oh. Now, let's recall what happened on Saturday. Adam Copeland made a challenge to Christian Cage for Montreal. Adam, I know you're back there. I just want to speak to you about some of the things that you said last week. So if you don't mind making your presence felt, it would be very much appreciated. Of course, he's got five people with him. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm just... Uh, Adam! I would like to speak to you in this ring. If you wouldn't mind, in the truck, could you hit his music? Could you tell him that I'm wanting to speak to him? Something. I have to imagine that Anna Copeland does not have any interest in sharing a ring Maybe with Maybe I should come Cage back there and speak to him then. Unless it's in a match. I mean, Chris is being a gentleman here. He really is. Oh, I mean, for crying out loud. Yeah. All right, you got what you asked for, champ. The demeanor, 
of this man is James. 360 from when he first arrived here at AEW. Yeah, a a Mark Ross superstar don't look too happy right now. And a march straight to the ring. And now AEW security detail. Task of ensuring that there is no physicality here. Those guys mean business. Listen, listen, listen. Management wanted me to have this security. It wasn't my idea. All right. But you're right. We don't need security. We do not need security here tonight. So I'm going to ask you, gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind vacating the ring. Now, Christian Cage is a... Typically, uh, you know, a ring general, he's got, he's, he's thinking 10 steps ahead, but this could be ill-advised for the champion. Last week, you challenged me to a match for the TNT Championship, December 6th in Montreal on Dynamite. I'm here to tell you that we're not going to make it to Montreal. Oh. We're not going to make it to Montreal because I'm sorry. Now look, I know what you're thinking, I know what everybody is thinking, that I'm only sorry because now I'm on an island by myself, right? Last week, you took out the kill switch. Please. Look, you took out the prodigy Nick Wayne, you took out Kill Switch, but that's not the reason that I'm sorry. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty pissed off when I saw what you did to Luchasaurus when you hit him. Kill Switch. When you hit Kill Switch with not one but two concertos, I was so mad. I ran out of the house, I jumped in my car, and I just started driving, man. I just needed to think. I needed some fresh air, I rolled the windows down. And somewhere during that trip, it turned into a road trip of reflection. It turned into a road trip of soul searching, digging down deep trying to figure out why I became the person that I am, how I became this, this guy that says and does such unsavory things. And then on that drive, it started to remind me of the times that we borrowed my mom's car, remember that? My mom's Ford Taurus. We named that Taurus Toby the Taurus because we took it everywhere on the road when we were trying to make it. We, we didn't care where we went, we were broke. We didn't have a dime to our name and we didn't care. We were having the time of our lives on the road, man, and we were gonna make it. We didn't know how, but we were gonna make it, and damn it, did we make it, huh? Did we ever make it? We went on to become multiple time tag team champions. You know what? I'm not too shy to say it, the greatest tag team that ever lived. We both became multi-time world champions. Two of the greatest careers in the history of the sport, man. But you know, take, take the wrestling part of our relationship away and it runs even deeper. Everybody knows that you grew up with a single mom, Adam. Everybody knows that you didn't have a father figure. And listen, 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 listen. Listen, everybody. Yes, I'm the patriarch of AEW, and I'm in no way suggesting that I'm your father, Adam. I am your brother. And listen, you might not have had a father, but in turn, 
My father became your father. We, we brought you in like you were one of our own. You went on family trips with us. You sat at the dinner table. You slept over. Listen, when you needed discipline, my dad disciplined you the same way he did his own kids. He picked you up. He brushed you up. He hugged you. He cheered you on to this day. He's still your biggest fan. And listen, it's, I'm just going to say, man, we weren't just two random guys that were thrown together. I love you, man. We are family. And listen to me. When your mom passed away a few years ago, that was the hardest time of your life. I know that for a fact. But sometime before she passed, she said to us, she said, what I wouldn't give to see you guys in that ring teaming together just one last time. And on that drive, I started thinking about it. Let's do this for her. Let's go on this journey again as a tag team. Like you said before, we should do it. You and I, for Judy, for the Jude Meister. Let's do this for your mom. Let's do it for her, man. Let's do it for her. too well. Nice try, dumbass. Sit up when I'm talking to you. Shine this up real nice. Hell, sleep with it if you want to, because next week she's coming home with me. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Go fuck yourself. There you go. Yeah, that put a nice bow on it, didn't it? It is official. One week from tonight, Dynamite debuting in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and the TNT Championship will be on the line. Christian Cage has to defend against Adam Copeland. But coming up next, our main Swerve Strickland versus Switchblade. An Indian event. It goes the full 20 minutes. We will stick with the action pass on top of the hour. I don't think it's any secret to anybody how far back my relationship with Adam Copeland goes. We've known each other since we were in the sixth grade. Somebody recently asked me the question, what were some of the things that I liked about Adam growing up? And as I racked my brain, I couldn't really think of anything. I am your brother. I love you, man. We weren't just two random guys that were thrown together. We went on to become, I'm not too shy to say it, the greatest tag team that ever lived. I think I more or less tolerated Adam. He was a hanger on, he wanted to be like me, which is why he's always trying to steal my spotlight everywhere we've gone. It's time for you and I to team together again. Go yourself. Adam 100% helped me back in my career. And it might not even have been his own doing, it's just that I felt sorry for him. It was my duty to bring him along for the ride. And in doing so, held me back. Because Adam ended up getting all the things that I never got. You were the golden boy. I was stuck in the trenches, scratching, clawing, and fighting for every inch. I was pushed all the way to the bottom of the pile when he and I broke up as a tag team. After having my career torn away from me for seven long years, I willed myself all the way to the very top. I don't care what people think about me. I don't care what people say about me. I'm here to be the best, and everybody else is expendable. You want to walk into AEW, and you want to take away everything that I've built up over the last three years. Are you going to take your TNT title?
title because it's the most important thing in your world. Shine this up real nice. Hell, sleep with it if you want to, because next week she's coming home with me. December 6th, Montreal. I have nothing to prove in Montreal against Adam Copeland. Adam Copeland has everything to prove against me. This is finally my time. I am what everybody talks about on a weekly basis when it comes to AEW, whether it's Dynamite, Rampage, or Collision. I'm on the tip of everybody's tongue. I am the face of TNT. I am the face of AEW now and forever. Christian Cage has always been better than the rated R superstar, Adam Copeland. And in Montreal, the world is gonna know for the last time. Go yourself.